Stendark protect us all. We're as ready as we shall ever be. Unfortunately, yes. It's not the massive army we'd hoped for. But now that Molagbal knows we're coming, a smaller group might be our only hope of slipping into Cold Harbor undetected. It's difficult to predict where you will emerge once you reach Cold Harbor. Be on your guard, my friend. Survive then, have you? Jolly good. Jolly good. Rotten luck. They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody unpredictable. Portals to oblivion. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly. What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the Hollow City. Dreadfully dull place, and a real eyesore, if you ask me, but I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest! What a simply fabulous word. Quest. Quest. Quest! I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. Welcome to the beautiful gardens of Cold Harbor. Do I, I have the oddest feeling we've discussed this before, or did I already mention this? No matter. I am Sir Sane. That's in the north, isn't it? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Did I? I don't recall that. But there is a bridge just ahead. Leads to the city. Rather a drab, empty place at present, but a little paint, a potted plant. Very few would dare to enter the Prince of Murder's realm of their own choosing. You may refer to me as the Groundskeeper. The city's original name no longer matters. Now it is a hollow city, waiting to be filled. 
It could be. There is no safer place in Cold Harbor. Watch and listen. While I could explain things to you, it will be better to simply show you. Long ago, this city existed in Nern. It was alive and vibrant, and went by a different name. Its people were devoted to Prince Meridia. The Radiant One. They lived in peace and assumed themselves safe from any dangers. But Meridia has enemies, such as the despicable Molag Baal. The Prince of Murder sent minions from Cold Harbor to destroy her beloved city. The city's defenders did what they could, but they were no match for Molag Baal's forces. Everyone outside the walls was slaughtered, but the warriors and mages managed to seal the gates to protect those huddled within. As fortune would have it, the alien king Lalorian Dinar was visiting the city. A skilled warrior and tactician, he quickly took command of the city's defenses. The alien king single-handedly protected one of the gates. As he fought, he prayed for assistance, and his prayers were answered. Meridia felt compassion for her followers, but she also saw an opportunity. Molag Baal's open portal worked both ways. The time had come to take the battle to Cold Harbor. Meridia warded the city and pushed it into Cold Harbor. The city arrived intact, but many of its inhabitants were either killed or scattered by this realm's protective spells. Even the alien king was captured. Still, Meridia had accomplished the impossible. She stabbed a dagger into Molag Baal's side. A portion of her realm was in his domain, and he could not touch it. The survivors lost faith, however. One by one, they left the safe confines of the city to try to return to Nur. They were foolish, and they paid the price for rejecting Meridia's edicts. Meridia foresaw a day when an opportunity would arise. An overconfident Molag Baal. Champions from another plane. On that day, this city would become the focal point for the assault against the Lord of Schemes. I say that the day has finally arrived. The great mage, Vanna Scalarian, the alien king. And you, our last best hope. You must gather your allies and bring them here. This city shall serve you well against Molag Baal. 
Know that every choice you make in Cold Harbor will have an effect on the Hollow City. I am your advisor. You must gather those who were lost. You shall require more than just the King and the Mage, of course. But they are as good a starting point as any. As you seek out the Mage and the King, I'm sure you shall meet others who require your aid. Go west, beyond the Moonless Walk. I recommend heading west first to find the Aeliot King, but the choice is yours. If you wish to free King Dinar, you must recover the lights of Meridia. As you no doubt noticed, Morlog Bal's realm has its own defenses. Rumors only, I'm afraid. Originally, the lights were a gift from Meridia. King Dinar is trapped within a tower of darkness. You're alive! That's wonderful! You're a real live person, aren't you? I'm a projection, silly. My brother and I are part of the Mages Guild expedition. We drew straws and I wound up on watch duty. But when I saw Daedra seal the entrance, I found another way inside. The Mages Guild gathered a team of the best dungeon delvers from across the three alliances. Members of the Undaunted, just in case they ran into any ruins or relics. You got it. That's my thought. I'll provide whatever help I can from in here. I can tell you this. One of the other scholars, she called this place the Library of Dusk. Couldn't wait to start exploring. Is this working? Can you see me? I'll try to show you what's going on inside the library while you smash those lenses. Here goes. Did you see that? I'll make some adjustments while you search for the next lens.
It's working. I switched the widgets with the gadgets, and that seemed to do the trick. Now let's see if I can get a view into the other part of the line. I think I made the proper adjustments. Now, let's see if I can spot my brother. Raynor! Raynor! He can't hear me! Why can't he hear me? Raynor! I can see Raynor through this observation window, but he can't hear me. You know, the spell web. A pretty elegant trap, really. I think the spell's catalyst has something to do with an interest in knowledge. I'd be insulted, but what can I say? I'm in this for adventure, not scholarly pursuits. And thanks, by the way. The spell seems to be a combination of glamours and illusions. I always have a plan. Sure, but there may be other spells active down there. Take a look at the observation.
<laughs> am I all right? Oh, I am perfect. But I am not who you seek. You won't release them from our spell. Oh, sorry. This book is so engrossing. Could we talk later? I said I'm reading. Go bother someone with an intellect closer to your own level. I don't know what... Wait. You're right. This place radiates Daedric magic. I can feel it in the back of my skull. We need to free the others. I think so. I can still feel the spell tugging at my mind, though. Just in case, Kirith and I are going to our camp outside of the ruins. Lady Laurent, Tellinger, and I decided to take advantage of our good fortune and explore this old library. Thanks. Kirith and I will head for our camp outside the ruins. Interrupt me. Leave, but this is my home. Sent you? Why? I see. I suppose I should ask whether or not you're part of this elaborate trap, but I sense that you're not an illusion. Hmm. I remember that we discovered something or another, but the de I wouldn't know exactly, but I'm sure Tellinger's around here somewhere. He's really quite clever and dashing to boot. <laughs> he reminds me of my... my good friend Stibbins. Thank you. I'm going to get out of here. I need to find someone. I'm rather busy right now. Come back later. No, not even a little.
I take it that you are the one who read my note? The spells I placed upon it alerted me that non-Daedra eyes examined the writing. This vault contains a portal, and the power emanating from it is overwhelming. So, mm, it's inconsequential. Whatever it is, it may serve a purpose in our battle against the Lord of Cold Harbor. Mm, I have my suspicions, but I hate to speculate. If you must know, I think it might be one of the fabled lights of Meridia. The source... Enter the portal and find the source of the power I sense emanating from the other side. Because I don't completely trust myself. While I have avoided the illusions that trap the others, I can still feel the pull of the Daedric spell. Once you go through the portal, the token will attune itself to the access point. If you bondage. Find them and bring them to me. Know that you may jump from here and rejoin your friends below. Welcome back, my friend. Did you find it? Was I right? Was the source of power I sensed one of the fabled lights of Meridia? By the ape, that crystal! It is a light of Meridia. It is said that these orbs of power once allowed Meridia to transport an entire city into Cold Harbor. With Meridia's light, we can turn the tide of this campaign. Kirith said you came from the Hollow City. We shall go there once everyone has had a chance to rest. Think, once inside the Hollow City, we'll begin helping with the war effort. We must test the lights of Meridia and investigate methods for destroying Molag Ball's plane meld mechanism. 